I recently had a case where the mother came in and the first thing she did was tell me about how she had a birthday party for her five-year-old son. I said, that sounds terrific. Did you have a good time? She says, everybody did. Did you have cake and ice cream? She says, absolutely. And they had pizza and everybody came and sang happy birthday and she had all her family members there. And she also had a friend that was at the party. The following day, she got into a disagreement with her friend. And her friend turned around and called DCF saying that the child was physically abused and neglected at this birthday party. So the mother wanted a plan. We cultivated a plan to go after these false, baseless, bogus allegations. We made a list of all the names of the people that are at the party. We spoke to each and every one of them because each and every person at the party pulled out their cell phone and filmed the party. Some of them had a lot of footage. We took each and every person's cell phone, put all this film together, and we made up a pretty much a documentary of the, the birthday. They showed the child opening up presents one after another with the biggest smile on his face. And they showed the child eating cake and ice cream and playing with all the smaller other children that were his size. And it also showed mom doting on her son, hugging her son, and kissing her son, which pretty much between the multiple cell phones, which were quite a few, we almost could document every moment of that body. We gave DCF the evidence, medical records, where there was no marks or bruises on the child, which we sent the child immediately to the doctor. We also showed DCF all the film footage of all the various cameras, and we gave the names of all the witnesses of everybody who was at that body. Their name, their address, their street address, their city, their town, their zip code, and we got in touch with all of them to tell them that DC would be called, which much to DCF's credit, they called everybody on the list. And when all was said and all was done, it was abundantly clear there was no marks or bruises on the child, and there was no physical abuse. It was a friend that was mad at mom for whatever reason, some cockamamie stupid reason, but she threatened to call DCF, and indeed she did. And we gave DCF the name of who called, and they checked and looked into it, and the case was dismissed. And the right thing was done by DCF. And there was no allegation supported for physical abuse or neglect. And this was indeed a baseless, bogus, false claim about someone that was upset and mad at the mother because the mother allegedly had done something wrong to this woman, which was furthering the truth.